the fiscal period's functionality in Dynamics GP is very flexible. I can set up a fiscal year to correspond to a calendar year, or I can set up a fiscal year that will bridge two calendar years. I can also set up a fiscal year that was a short fiscal year. Maybe I have to have a stub year. I could easily set that up in Dynamics GP. Let's take a look at this functionality. To access the fiscal period setup window, I'll go to Tools, Setup, Company, and Fiscal Periods. Within this screen, I can see all the fiscal periods, the fiscal years I have set up in my system. Some of them are going to be historical years. Here's a historical year. And some of these are future open years. What you'll notice is that I can also control access to a particular year within my general ledger. If I want to prevent posting in a particular period or periods, I can designate that in this screen right here. For example, in this screen, I have all periods closed except for April. You can see where I could close individual series if I wanted to. And what this does in the system is it allows people to post into April, but it will not allow them to post into any other month within this fiscal year. Now they can save a transaction that has a posting date other than April, but they will not be able to post it. GP also allows me to reopen a period after it's been closed. So for example, say I'm in April and I want to open up the third period because I have a transaction I need to process in there. I can open up the financial, the general ledger. I can post that transaction and then close it again. This allows me to make adjustments if I need to the previously closed periods within a fiscal year. Now let's see how easy it is to add a new fiscal year. I have fiscal years going from 2010 to 2018 in my system. Say I want to add 2019, it's easy to do. I'm going to just type in 2019. I'll tab off that. It'll give me the first day and the last day. If I had a short year for some reason, I could put the first day and last day to correspond to that actual fiscal, peri fiscal year. I can have as up to 52 different periods within my fiscal year if I want to. However, I'm just going to take 12 here and I'm going to start on January 1st and end December 31st of 2019. Once I have that designated, I'll hit Calculate. It will calculate out the calendar year for me, but I can easily change these start dates for individual periods if I wanted to. So for example, if I had a 445 fiscal calendar, I could easily do that within Dynamics GP by altering the start dates to equal the starting day of each period. I can also override these period names, put in the names of the month if I wanted to. So you can see that the fiscal period setup functionality within Dynamics GP is very flexible. I can have as many open years as I want to in Dynamics GP and I can have as many closures as I want to. This enhances functionality and enhances reporting. 